Perhaps your ass has never been to the Museum of Rhonda, which would be, this is Larry, I forgot his last name, Larry. Well, fuck, you know, he used to hang with Jackson Pollock and shit and those guys, and he was, like, considered groundbreaking and stuff. Oh, well, Larry Hill. And <clears throat> he's married to my editor, kind of, lesson writer, Bonnie Hearn Hill. They don't live together, but he used to hang with those guys in New York. And he said, no, I'm going to present I'd be with my family. So he didn't become as famous. And then here we go. We have L.A. Sunset, which is really nice kind of thing. I told everybody I beached to it. And I made payments. And thank you very much for letting me have that. I had payments. Use your choice. I think I recall paying you the interest uh, this year. should have paid you. Because then there's a high, which you gave me. And I framed, like you said. And then there is Zigzag, my first one of your abstract parades. And then we have this, which was wonderful. I forgot, I don't even know what it is, LA Sense. I don't know, fuck, it's got McDonald's. I'm like, I always pee at McDonald's. And you're like, why would you pee at McDonald's? Well, because they're there, except now they say, fuck you, it's COVID. And here are the things that I said. Hey, mom, thanks for having getting cancer. Here's what I did as a case I had full of these. And she said, fuck you, I'm not pulling another 500 because I'm also doing the kid. And you know what, I told you why very carefully. Don't touch my TT. when I said, my TT hurts, which showed her at a very young age. I'm verbal, shut up, get the fuck out of my, and, and I dealt with her right then, and no guilt, you know, get the, and she messed with my brother. And so then we have over here, we have, oh yes, this is Ann Cook, being Ann Cook. She's a speech writer in DC, Martha Taylor, kind of a badass in the punk world. And then we have my Nomad Gin, which I broke both my legs, and that was kind of exciting. And so it's, it's scotch, we kind of own a distillery, but it's really old. And then we, here's my books that, like, this one was really cool. It's like kind of one of them that I got from my adventures in DC. And we got Japanese culture. And then we got, you know, kind of eight stuff. And then we got the giant sign Shimansky that Joe took for me because I said, hey, I like this view. And so, I don't know, what you talking about, Willis? You got an issue with your buddies? that you wait, that like here, like here's Brian Jennings, one book that he, and then here's the other one in my right front door. Tell me, man, like, and he wrote me, hey, don't forget the patch of blue, and there's a painting with lots of blue in it, your buddy, who you sensate. So, you know, you're kind of a, a walking legend, but we want to make you pay for it a little bit for being so silly about not believing it, and torturing us by saying, what, Willis, you, she's kidding? Yes, I'm kidding, dude. I paid you to, what? teach me and you taught me and then you cut my work and I'm like fuck you don't cut my work I'll cut your balls in public and then you're like oh my god yeah trust me I'm good <laughs>